Thank you for being here. Thank you for keeping the pressure on and keep it on. Thank you. Some some of the people say, let me ask you a question. Do you work hard every day? Yes. Do you work hard every day? Yes. Are you willing to work even harder? Yes. And let me introduce to you your president who's been working on hard on your behalf, the president of your local, Bob Trawler! Yeah! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Good afternoon. I'm proud to be standing here with all our friends and supporters on the steps of City Hall to announce this great victory. Thanks to the hard work of the City Council has passed, will pass Resolution 37, a resolution which seeks to restore the integrity of the public school system by keeping dangerous profiteers out. I thank Speaker Miller, General, Council Members Jackson, Adabo, Quinn, and all their other colleagues for standing with us and sending a clear message to the Chancellor. Chancellor Klein, abandon your misguided, wasteful, and dangerous plan to privatize custodial workforce. There's no question that our school children deserve to learn in the cleanest, safest, and most efficient environment. And that environment is provided by the civil servant custodian engineers. Yeah! For more than a hundred years, for more than a hundred years, Local 891 have kept the schools as clean as possible and in the best condition possible. And we are an essential part of the school community. Unlike private contractors, we are employees of the city's Department of Education and are fully accountable to principals, parents, and teachers. And unlike outside contractors, we qualify to, uh, for our position to competitive examination, extensive licensing requirements, and extensive background checks. We provide a level of safety and quality that is simply not economically feasible under their private scheme. A public servant, we are motivated by service. Simply put, custodian engineers put children first. Contractors put profits first. <laughs> yet, yet Chancellor Klein thinks New York City schools should hire unlicensed and unaccountable strangers to care for our school building and our school children. I hope the past few months have provided some valuable lessons about the perils of privatizing schools. Just yesterday, just yesterday we learned from the Daily News that an employee of one of these private contractors working at PS 169 Brooklyn was dealing drugs, including heroin and crack on school grounds. In March, under the watch of another private contractor, our asbestos was unnecessarily released and dragged through PS 219 Brooklyn, contaminating the schools and more importantly, exposing those children needlessly. That school will be shut down until the fall. And right now, the estimate for cleaning up that one school due to that contractor's mishap are in the range of four to five million dollars. Oh. <laughs> through the actions of concerned parents and councilman Weprin, we also learned about some private cleaning companies which have hired convicted felons to manage their buildings. Crazy. Chancellor Klein touts his plan as reform, but parents, teachers, and principals can see that it spells disaster for our children. That's right. The Chancellor claims to put his plan, that his plan may save taxpayer dollar. But looking at his own figures and looking at the mayor's own budget report, we can see that that's not possible. Yeah. Private contractors cost more than civil servant custodians. This is because every dollar that we spend, we attempt to spend in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And anything we don't spend to the tune of $5 million a year is returned to the Department of Education. Mm -hmm. The private contractors will obviously return zero to the city of New York and to the children. We challenge the Chancellor to demonstrate how it is possible to save money under this plan. Earlier, Chancellor, earlier this year, the Chancellor was caught red-handed when the New York State Supreme Court ruled he violated the competitive bidding laws yes. and granted two no-bid contracts yes. amounting to $60 million to these two private companies. Just yesterday we learned the Department of Education withdrew its own appeal of that court decision Good. and we now expect those private contractors to be immediately removed from those buildings. Yeah! Secondly, we seek to have the city, we seek to have the 
city seek restitution for the funds paid out to those companies under those illegal contracts. Right. Get it back. Right. Get it back. Right. The Chancellor was able to do this through his then little known exception to competitive bidding committee. Mm. That committee unfortunately is becoming very well known to the public as we learn of more and more incidences of its use. When a public official circumvents competitive bidding process, taxpayers deserve an explanation and it better be a damn good one. Yes. That is why Resolution 37 is so important. It affirms what is encoded in our city charter, that when public dollars are at stake, the government must conduct a thorough cost-benefit analysis before making a decision to privatize public services. Mr. Chancellor, the city charter should apply to your shop as well. That's right. The rules make good sense and the rules ensure good government. So let's be clear. Let's be clear as we stand united here today. New York City school custodian engineers will continue their proud tradition of providing the highest level of service to our children. Low bid, corner cutting private contractors may be acceptable in some schools in some other cities, but not here in New York City. We place too high a value on the safety of our children to allow that to 